Hello, this is Dr. Gus Stern. Now I'd like to go over the basics of implanting the Zen Gel Stent. The entire device that comes out of the packaging is referred to as the Zen Injector. The clear cap at the tip of the needle is referred to as the needle cap. The yellow travel lock prevents the slider from moving forward during shipping. There is a very rarely used angle selector that when moving it side to side will dextro and levo rotate the needle along its long axis. Here is a demonstration of, of that process. Removing the needle cap exposes the retention plug, which is just another device that prevents the Zen from falling out of the tip of the needle during transport. Once the retention plug is removed, it's important to keep the tip of the needle uh, facing upwards to prevent the uh, Zen from falling out of the uh, tip of the needle. When working with the device, it's important to remember that there are two clicks as you advance the slider forward. When you advance up to the first click, the device is injected out of the tip. After the first click and up towards the second click, the needle bevel is retracted. This is demonstrating moving between the first and second click, and you notice how the needle is retracted. The Zen Gel is a gelatin derived from porcine dermis formed into a tube and then cross-linked with glutaraldehyde. The inner diameter of the tube is 45 microns. Make sure that my eyelashes look good. <laughs> this is the Zen Gen Gel Stent. We're opening up the package. Perfect. Curvy. So go ahead. Oh, you probably should not. So that came off here. Keep it right here so I can keep that filming. So yep, you're just going to tear that open. Like Perfect. Vanilla. Yep. And that there. And then what we're going to go ahead and do, Alex, is um, that yellow knob. Mm -hmm. You're going to pull that towards you. Pull it towards me. Yep. All right. And now you got the clear top. I do. You go ahead and pull that off. And then you have a retention pin at the very, very tip. Let me get a close up of that. See the retention pin? You're going to just use your bare glove or you can use some fair forceps to pull that off. And it is a sharp. Yep, perfect. The Zen is ready. Now just keep it in an upright position with the needle up okay. so that the um, stent does not fall out. Perfect. Mm -hmm. Yep. Um, he's going to need a marking pen to also mark the Zen. We're going to start the procedure by creating a nasal paracentesis. This allows us to provide counter traction while we're inserting the Zen gel. Next, we're going to fill the anterior chamber with viscoelastic. I like to create a uh, temporal incision um, to insert the Zen gel through. And this differs from the manufacturer's recommendations of creating the incision uh, more towards the uh, inferior portion of the cornea. I find that it's much easier to place the uh, incision uh, temporally. Now, if you are going to place the uh, incision temporally, you don't want to aim uh, centripetally, uh, meaning not towards the center of the people. You want to aim right to that um, 12 o'clock marking. Uh, so that you can insert the Zen gel um, up towards the 12 o'clock position. Manufacturer um, recommends making markings two millimeter posterior to the surgical limbus one clock hour apart. A very helpful uh, procedure is to mark with a marking pen the tip of the Zen gel. This is done by advancing the Zen gel up to the first click of the slider, then marking the tip and then retracting the slider first and then pushing back the Zen gel with a wet cell. I found the easiest way to hold uh, the injector is between your pointer finger and middle finger and advancing the slider with your thumb. The device is introduced into the eye and brought over to the angle to where you approximately think that it should be uh, inserted. 
Ideally, it is placed right through the trabecular meshwork and angled up uh, toward the uh, second uh, marking. Now here we uh, confirm the initial placement with gonioscopy and adjust the position of the needle if necessary. In this case, we didn't need to. Uh, and a uh, vera hook is placed in the paracentesis and the needle is advanced forward after confirming that it's uh, in the angle. It's important that it's in the angle uh, because if it's placed posteriorly, I can lodge in the iris, and if it's placed too anteriorly, then it um, can scrape up against the cornea. You can advance the needle up to uh, the second marking, two, two millimeters posterior to the surgical limbus, and it's very important that the entire bevel of the needle is in the subconjunctival space. If you don't have the entire bevel in the subconjunctival space, there can be a lot of resistance to the zen being inserted into the proper position. Once the full bevel of the needle is in the subconjunctival space, I find it very beneficial to wiggle the needle side to side to clear out a space for the zen to be implanted. Remember that advancing the zen uh, between the first and second clicks actually retracts the needle. So it's very important that as you're retracting the needle, there's not a lot of pressure on the eye. Um, so you, you should totally relax um, pressure on the eye as you approach that second click uh, before pulling back or the tension could flick the uh, zen stent and dislodge it from the sclera. You can confirm uh, the position of the zen gel stent with gonioscopy. It's very common now to do a primary uh, needling at the time of surgery. This is done by inserting first a 27 gauge needle about 8 millimeters temporal, temporal to the zen gel stent placement and it's good to mark it with a marking pen so that you can see exactly where uh, you insert it into the conjunctiva. Then you can use a Grover Feldman spatula to uh, be inserted along that same track and then dissect both anterior and posteriorly uh, to the Zen gel stent. And just make sure that everything is freed up in that subconjunctival and subtenon space um, so that there is a nice pocket uh, for the aqueous to flow into. It's important that you don't uh, press the uh, zen uh, posteriorly onto the sclera and, and kind of pull it back out of the sclera. So it can actually be dislodged or damaged. So just take care um, not to um, damage the zen gel while you're dissecting. The dimensions of the zen gel are six mil millimeters in total length. And according to the manufacturer, ideal placement is two millimeters in the subconjunctival space, three millimeters in the sclera, and one millimeter into the anterior chamber. At the conclusion of the needling, I uh, prefer to close that track with a uh, tino nylon or tino uh, vicro suture uh, so that there's no possibility of uh, leaking through that. And then we inject uh, 0 0.1 milliliters of 0 0.2 milligrams per milliliter uh, mitomycin C about approximately 8 millimeters posterior to the limbus and hold uh, compression down so that it does not flow uh, anteriorly. So thank you for watching. This is Dr. Gus Stern and I've demonstrated some of the basic components of the Zen Gel mechanism and insertion of the Zen gel stent through a temporal incision.